Welcome back. We are here in Mr. Jeffrey's room for the Barbie versus Oppenheimer version of uh, graphing lines in slope intercept form. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe at the bell. So, should I do the Oda Tata? Oh, Oda Tata. So, today I did, I am middle aged cheer coach Ken. Complete with festively plump body, receding hairline, and graying beard. Accessories as the Stan mainly Stanley are not included. You got to buy that in deluxe edition. So, huh? Is it my is it my only outfit? No, I no. I'm just not doing a costume change at lunch. No. I don't want to. Okay. So, here we are. We're going to look at this. So, nope. Nope. There we go. So, we had to put the equation in y equals mx plus b form. Oh, by the way, these are the rules to graph. These are the rules, the steps, whatever. Okay, we're going to plot the wider set. We're going to talk about that in a second. We're going to use slope to create more points, and we're going to connect it to the line. Now, the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the number without x, and it's usually at the end of the equation. Okay, so if we were looking at this, bless you, I think, the y-intercept is our b. All right. And our slope is the number of side x's or m and i really think that m is given that for slope because it's for mountains and i think b for our wider step is for the beginning if you kind of think i like that now so <clears throat> slope as a fraction the top number tells you up or down bottom number tells you how far to go to the right okay we're going to go to the right. Now, crazy thing. If we read from left to right, why on these, as we graph them, do we start from the far right and go left? Does anybody have an idea? Any idea? All right, think about where a lot of bath was created. Okay. Think about where a lot of math was created. We're talking like Egypt, Greece, stuff like that. That's right. They did. They read the other way. They read from right to left. So that's why if you actually think about that, it actually, bless you, it actually makes a little bit more sense. So let's go into graphing. Now, number one, all right, so what is our y-intercept? In this equation, what is the number without x? Four, okay? Now, our slope, that's the wrong color. Our slope right here, that's two. How can we write two as a fraction? Two over one. There's a reason why now Dion kind of like, oh, that's why he didn't let us write slope as a decimal last week when we were finding slope. Okay, so this means we're going to go up two and to the right one. That means that's what we're doing from each point. Okay, so we're going to plot our y intercept. So we go to the y axis, we go up one two, three, and four. We make a point. Now, in the directions previously, remember the directions, the rules, the things like that that was set up here, you use the slope to create more points, okay? Sometimes the more points, the better so you can get a straight line. I can still use technology and not do a perfectly straight line and hit every point, but, you know, potato, potato. If you have a straight edge, you know, so we're going to go to the, from here. Now we go from here. 
I actually had students that they would go back to the origin and then do the slope. That was very interesting one time. But we go from here. We go to the right one. We go up two. One, two. Make a point. Okay, you can also keep going. Go over one, up two, make a point. Over one, up two, make a point. All right. So that's our slope. Now, if we were to connect this, oh, let's see if I can do this. It's going to be interesting. Swing and a miss. All right. So that is our slope. And just like Barbie is saying, whoa, Ken, whoa, Ken, calm down. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. I was just finding pictures and I thought it was hilarious. All right. Are we going number one? Questions, comments, cries of heresy. Some people were like, oh, he actually did a math problem. I may want to pay attention. Okay. All right. It, whatever this number is on, on the bottom. If it, if, yeah, that's how you turn the whole number to a fraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't understanding because you said always one and I was like, no, what if we have like a one third, you know? Mm. Yeah. All right. So let's look at number two. What is our y-intercept? What is the number without x? Five. So, I do have some students that they will actually do this. They're like, okay, number, once they plot it, they actually mark it out so they can find the slope easier. Some people will be like, that's not very smart. Actually, for them, it worked out. Okay, so I just want to share that. Now, our slope is negative three. How do we write negative three as a fraction? Very good. Say it louder for the people in the back. Negative three over one, they said. All right. So this means that we are going to go down, down in an early round. Three. And to the right, one. All right. So go to my winer set. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to go, now I'm going to go down three. So I'm going to go one, two, three, to the right one. From here, down three, one, two, three, to the right one. One, two, three, to the right one. And I know some spot, somebody said, but my teacher always told me to go up or down first. Or run first. <coughs> Excuse me. You could actually go to the right first and then down three. You're going to end up in the same spot. Okay. All right. Anybody play chess? You're too slow for chess. If you did play chess, then you would get this uh, reference of using. Uh, all right. Do y'all know the chess pieces? You know, the little horse head one. Yeah, the knight, well, a lot of people don't know it as the knight. They know it as the horse head. Look, we just had like 80% of this class like, I don't know. I don't know how to play chess. So I had to. No, you, no, there's not a law that says that you have to play chess in Alabama. No, they don't. We don't. They don't. Do they, do they still teach cursive? I think, I don't know. I think. I think Miss Julia's group was one of the groups that they did not have cursive. Hello!
Okay. All right. Shh, shh, shh. All right. Listen, future Bobby Fisher, y'all just calm down. We'll argue about chess and cursive in a little bit. We're getting a little bit off topic. They were about to throw down. People sacrificing themselves like pawns. <laughs> That was my only quality joke over ever in such a long time. So, all right. Such a good show, Queen's Gambit. Such a good show. All right. So, number three. What is the Y-intercept? What is the number without X? Yeah, we actually had to grab that negative in front of it. All right, slope as a fraction. This slope is actually a fraction, so it makes our life easier. We like that, yes? Yes. All right, so it's positive. When it's negative, we always attach it to the top number. Okay, but this one happens to be positive. So are we going to, we're going to go up or down? Up, three to the right, four. All right, because it's positive. No, we were talking about slope. Yeah. No, you just pointed yourself out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so, now, also, I do know some students that they would actually plot their points as they would sing the Cupid Shuffle. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, going up, going up, going up, make a point. They weren't very popular. <laughs> It was me. One, two, three, four. It makes sense now. Three, four, one, two, three. All right. I can't remember when I was in high school. Probably. Ah, oh, look at that. I did it. I actually hit all three. Now, I know I'm not putting arrows on these, and I should, but potato, potato. Nine times out of ten, like, this is what's funny. Some of y'all probably had Delta Math for all your homework assignments, and you had a graph on Delta Math. Any type of online digital something is going to put the arrows on there for you. Okay, so and here's this guy. Guess what? He's a kin. All right, so number four. Number four, what is our y intercept? What is the number without x? What is our slope as a fraction? Aha. Remember, this is has a understood one. So yes, this would be negative one over one. So we are going to go down one to the right. One. Look, your notes are set up based off the, some of the information that I've been getting back on this after test stuff. All right, so we go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, down one. All right, what? 
are you look are you, are you are you judging my graph you're lying I mean it's close enough we're good yep all right believe it or not that's our lesson okay some of y'all said yay now on the back don't notice on the back there's some things missing that were not up here at the front you can actually rewrite that right here if you need to okay if you don't need to that's fine i'm actually going to be saying those things as we go over it okay for those leaving us that's not in the in studio audience don't forget hit like hit subscribe hit the bell stay farsh that one actually hurt it did good stuff good things roll tight